Hey everyone, my name is Alan Berger. I'm a 3D digital fashion creator and welcome to part two of this series where we are creating an oversized and boxy t-shirt in Clo 3D. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe and also hit the bell. And if you find the time, check out my new Patreon where I share further details and tips and tricks around the creation in Clo 3D and 3D in general. So without further ado, let's get started with the collar and neckline for this t-shirt. So the next step in this process is to uh, create a, a neckline for this t-shirt. And I'm noticing that my neckline here is a bit uh, too wide up for my preference. So I'm gonna uh, make a little adjustment and fine tune this by, by moving this point of the pattern a bit down. We're just gonna pull it a bit downwards here and see how it goes. We're also going to adjust the neckline here and make it a bit rounder again. Okay, let's see how it looks. Okay, because you always have to think the collar is still being added now. Take this even a little notch lower now. Okay. It up. Okay, I think that looks quite nice. We can always readjust it later, but uh, it's good to make the first initial adjustments already now. And now we are going to select our neckline as well as our other side of the neckline and then the back side of the neckline and see how, how long the total length is which in our case is 57.91 centimeters. And therefore we are going to create the, the neckline pattern piece now. We said 57 point, we're gonna make it 58 centimeters in total. Okay, we choose the rectangle select, uh, select uh, the rectangle pattern tool, click again into 2D pattern window. We make it 580 millimeters. And for the height, uh, one side, uh, like the, 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 the height of the neckline uh, could be two centimeters actually. And we are going to fold it inwards so we're gonna make it 40 millimeters and press OK. Then we are going to select the upper line and the lower line of the pattern and right click and press distribute internal line between segments. And we are going to add uh, an internal line between uh, exactly on the half of the height of this pattern to create this line where we are going to fold the color inwards. Okay, as a next step, we are going to sew this neckline onto the front and back bodies pieces. And therefore we are going to choose the M and N free sewing tool. We start at the neckline here and go to, to the end, press enter to complete the M sewing and now we're going to do the N sewing and we start like an inch off of the shoulder line. If you look at t-shirts, at physical t-shirts in the real world, the sewing line is off like about an inch since if it would be on the shoulder line, it would become very bulky and visually not too aesthetic. So we start here, then we click here and then we choose, we continue on the front side. You can follow the sewing lines as they are connecting here. We're gonna click here and then to the end point again here, here, and then we're gonna press enter to complete this sewing. Okay, to make the to put the collar, uh, the neckline in place, we can press, we can select the neckline pattern piece, press Shift F again, 
and press a button like a blue dot to actually align it as seen and then we press shift f again and then we're gonna press the space bar to simulate again okay this car this worked nice okay and as we see we still need to sew the end of the neckline together so we're gonna do this now by choosing the the n hot button uh, the hot key and selecting this end of the neckline and the other one okay simulate again and now we are going to fold in the neckline by choosing this tool here which is the fold arrangement tool and i'm going to show you this tool now if you click this internal line which is this one here then this navigation option appears and you can fold this color inside just a little bit to help it to simulate it easier later on and then we are going to sew these two outer ends together to actually build this color out uh, this neckline okay upper and lower we gotta simulate okay this looks nice and now as a next step we are going to shrink the size a bit since the necklines of physical t-shirts are usually between 80 to 95 percent of the total length of the front and back bodies pieces so let's start by doing like let's do 92 percent okay simulate again okay this looks already nicer as an additional improvement visual improvement we are going to select the internal line and we choose fold rendering on and we lower the angle to 25 and we simulate again okay this didn't show much of a difference in this case but uh, there is still a difference if you have a detailed look at it later on in the renderings maybe i can show it to you later again and we still add uh, like an improvement by lowering the particle distance of the neckline to five which makes the mesh density higher of the col of the neckline versus to the body pieces as you can see here by showing the wireframe then we press simulate again and now we can see the difference already okay i'm gonna try to check if i can show again how the how it looks without the fold rendering okay now we see the fold rendering better here with fold rendering it looks a bit cleaner okay and as for the for the for the seam lines here we are going to uh, set the sewing line types to turn since this also makes the the this part here a bit smoother okay so that's it for the neckline for now we can still do a little bit of an adjustment to the neckline by setting the collision thickness of the neckline from the default from 2.5 mil to zero let's see how that goes okay that's too much okay let's go back to one mil okay no maybe we just keep it at 2.5 but at least you know the, that the option exists now and you can you also see that there is like a space between the avatar as well as the neckline right and we can lower this offset by choosing the avatar selecting the avatar and choosing the skin offset uh, option and setting it to zero and now you see it is almost lying on top of the avatar since there is no space in between 
okay and to make the neckline even a bit nicer we could also work with steaming which you can find where is it now here i thought it moved somewhere but it's still here and we lower the shrinkage value like we, we increase it a bit from minus 20 to minus 10 so, and then we choose like 10 millimeters and we choose a hardness of 50% to not make it too hard of a steaming okay and then we're gonna steam along the line the internal line just a bit we're gonna simulate and now the color of the neckline I always think color the neckline looks nicer and smoother now as you can see here looks very nice and smooth okay I'm pretty happy with the first result of the t-shirt so that's it for the neckline congrats if you made it until here thanks for watching and see you in the next chapter where we are going to focus on finishing the hems of the t-shirt bye